welcome back to my channel. I'm Lauren. And I'm Philip. And in today's video, we are making Halloween themed cheesecake puff pastry dessert. And this is... In honor of me. Because it is Philip's birthday on Halloween, so he wanted to make something spooky but tasty. And before we get into the video, what should they do, Phil? They should like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that notification button because it really helps out my channel and we really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. But with all that being said, let's go ahead and get into the video. Alright you guys, so before we start putting everything together on video, we do want to give you guys the ingredients really quickly. So, Philip, go ahead and list off the first three. Alright, two packs of cream cheese, mm -hmm. two whole eggs, two whole eggs, and one whole lemon. And that is for zest and juice. Mm -hmm. And then what you'll need more measurement wise, you'll need three fourths cup of granulated sugar or powdered sugar, however you like it. You'll need half a cup of sour cream and then a tablespoon of cornstarch. All right, you guys, so we're, the first thing we're going to do, of course, is add in the cream cheese. So you're going to add in two of these bad boys into your mixer. And can I just say, I have such a nice mixer. I bought this at the height of the pandemic. And if you're wondering why I'm touching this with my mitts, my hands are clean. Yeah, same here. Yep we wash our hands before we cook. So we're gonna start this on a low speed setting. And just let that mix through. Wow, nice and creamy. And can I just say you guys, I love this mixer. I bought it at the height of the pandemic, but this is the first time I'm getting to use it just because I've got energy to use it now. And I'm making something I really like. And so as it mixes, you are gonna to wanna to scrape the sides of your mixer as well as the whisk so that the cream cheese isn't just stuck in there and it mixes nicely. So All right, so we've already mixed our cream cheese a couple times. We're now going to go ahead and add in our 3 fourths cups of granulated sugar. So, Phil, would you like to do the honors? All right. Philip, you can go ahead and do the honors for us. All right. So that's one 1 fourth cup. Mm -hmm. Now we have to go ahead and add in the other one, so then I'll do the next one. All righty. Give it a second. And you know what I like to do? Sometimes before I add in all of it, I have to add, like to add in a little bit at a time. So I'll put in one fourth and then half of one fourth just before we put in all of it, just in case it becomes a little too sweet. So we're gonna go ahead and now we're gonna mix up our sugar and then we'll start adding our other ingredients. Yeah. To make it a little easier to mix up, just a little, I'm gonna go ahead and put in my lemon juice now. You only need a few squeezes of lemon juice because we are going to add in some lemon zest later on in the process once it's mixed up properly. So I'm just adding in that lemon juice to give it a kick. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. And now let's get this thing mixing again. Yep, just go ahead and mix it. Now we're going to add in our half cup of sour cream. Oh my goodness, if this does not get out this measuring cup, I swear to goodness gracious. Mm -hmm. Let's all that out. Yep, excuse me, Philip. Back no up. No problem. Go ahead now and add in some lemon zest. We're not adding a whole bunch, just about this much yeah. of zest right here. And if you're looking at it, that's lemon juice and just all out lemon um, citrus. You know that citrus spritz you get when you squeeze it too hard? Mm -hmm. That's why the napkin is wet. It's not dirty, it's just wet. All out lemon more than that. Okay, 
Okay, so there still are a couple lumps in this. So I'm gonna go ahead right now and just mix it up a little bit by hand and then put it back on to mix for a couple minutes and hopefully that'll get out the rest of these lumps and then we'll add in the eggs. So it's been a couple minutes since we left this to mix and it's looking pretty smooth so far So the last thing we're gonna add now that it's really nice and smooth are our two eggs so I'm Gonna add one on one side and usually I do one at a time But I just want to hurry up and get this done now oh. be careful not to get any shells in here Phil right, throw that you. away for me That's a second trouble when you're done with it So we're not whisking this the eggs, I think. There we go. And then now we're just going to leave our eggs to whisk and then we'll be done with our cheesecake mixture. And then we'll get to the nitty gritty of it, the exciting part. Yeah. Okay, those eggs. Oh, now it's so much pillow. All right, you guys, so it is all mixed up really nice. It looks really smooth. I'm just gonna check it to make sure. Oh yeah. Yeah. That is nice. I'm gonna scrape the sides one last time quickly, but then we are good to go. Honestly, I think we might just be good to go now. Okay, I'm gonna leave that in there. I really can't wait to taste this. Me too. And so in a second, I'm going to go ahead and reposition the camera, so we will be right back with you. All right, you guys. So we have painstakingly finished our cheesecake filling, and now we're going to start assembling our puff pastry sheets and adding in our um, jams and pumpkin pie filling. So we're using a strawberry jam filling, a raspberry filling, a crushed pineapple filling, which my mom wanted, but why? and then a country cherry filling and then like i said before pumpkin pie filling we, i think we have to add like some nutmeg some cinnamon and then i think a little bit of sugar or brown sugar to this but it should come out really nice and then i also have cookie cutters because again it's halloween theme for his birthday so the cookie cutters i bought on amazon there's a little bat in there there's a witch's hat a pumpkin one a kitty cat and a ghost so we're gonna go ahead and do that and hopefully we'll be able to decorate them and like put little faces on them but we're gonna go ahead change the camera angle again and get this started so we'll be right back with you all right you guys so we're back and I've already started cutting a few of the shapes out as you can see we've got a pumpkin one here we have a little bat here and then I did two ghosts and two little kitty cats really quickly I do have to mix up our pumpkin filling, our pumpkin cheesecake filling for our pumpkin shaped ones. So I'm just going to put a little bit of the regular cheesecake filling into a separate bowl. Uh oh, and I spilled a little bit of it. Yeah, just a tiny bit though. Alright, so we're going to take about that much. I'm going to wipe this up. We took about this much of the regular cheesecake filling. And now we're going to go ahead and get the pumpkin pie filling that we have. Oh my gosh. Mm. You guys, look at this pumpkin pie filling. It's, Interesting texture. It's, it's strange. It's nice, but it's strange at the same time. Yeah, it does. And we're going to take a good scoop of it. Yeah. I think we're going to take just about a little, like this much of it. How much was the measurements mom said? Mom said about half the can, but I don't think we need that much. Alrighty. Alright. And then now. We have to put in some cinnamon, and I'm just going to eyeball it. All right. I think that's enough cinnamon. Yeah. I'm going to use about that much cinnamon, and then we also need some nutmeg. Mm -hmm. But now we have the good stuff. We have the bougie nutmeg right here. We're using the actual nut nutmeg. Yeah. We have the raw stuff. And so we're just going to grind some nutmeg in here. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that should be good. And then 
Oh, and then we need some brown sugar. Now that we need to be more precise on. Yeah. How much brown sugar did mom say to add? Let me see. Okay, now for this she said half a cup, but because we're not making a whole bunch of this stuff, we're not gonna use half a cup. We'll use maybe like a little bit, or like a tablespoon maybe? What you think? I think maybe like one third cup. Not one third cup. That's too much sugar. Alright. Oh, wait. Because it's not as big as, like, that's if we were making this, but that amount. Yeah. Y'all, he's trying to kill us. <laughs> there we go. I think we need about a tablespoon of brown sugar. Yeah, that seems about right. And so here is all of our mixture. And so I'm going to mix this up quickly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, make sure that all gets together. Oh yeah, but I think this is going to be really nice. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh uh-oh. Pass me a napkin. Alright, gotcha. Oh yeah, I think this is going to be nice. Oh, we might have to make a pumpkin cheesecake. This yeah. looks good. It sure is. We should have got some sweet potato filling too. Yeah. But we might have to save that for Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Thanksgiving. Okay, here we go. Alright, so here's what our mixture looks like. It's really smooth and oh, it smells nice. Oh, yeah, it does. You think we should put more brown sugar in it though? Maybe like half a teaspoon. Yeah. Mostly just eyeballing this, y'all. Yeah. We're keeping it neutral. Mm. All right, you guys, so that is done and dusted. And so now we're going to start our little pastry filling montage. All right, you guys, so now we have our first batch of pastries done. We do have to give it a quick egg wash, though, and you're just going to really do this lightly. This is just like one egg with a tablespoon of water, and you're just going to put this over your ghouls and goblins or however you do it. Yeah. You're going to mash those monsters. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're just going to put a light egg wash on there. Take this butter knife. Alright, gotcha. Jump. And in the go. Alright you guys, so we have finished making our cute little puff pastry creations. I'm going to put a picture of them like right here. This is what they look like because my ring light's too bright, it'll get washed out. 
And so now we're gonna try each of them. Let me grab a butter knife to pour it out. So you wanna try the pumpkin one first? Yeah. Okay, so this is our pumpkin. Ooh. And so since we're sharing these with the others, I have to cut a half of a half for both me and Philip, or Philip and I. So here you go. All right, thank you. Three, two, one. That's nice. Mm. It tastes good. The measurements that I came up with for the spread came out real good. <laughs> My mom's sitting over there and she's laughing at me. <laughs> That's good. Mm -hmm. That half is mine, okay. Mm. 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 I want to show you the little ghost up close because it looks so cute. Yeah, I think the ring light being so bright even enhances it. It is so cute. So we're going to try this one. Which one was this? Cherry? Uh, yeah, I, I think, think so. it was. You know, ghosts usually don't have blood in them. Well, it makes it even more spooky. Here you yeah. go. Thank you. And oh wait, how? What do we rate the pumpkin one? Oh, pumpkin one was a ten out of ten. Ten. It was good, you guys. Oh. Mmm. Mm. This was good too. Yeah. Solid nine out of ten. I think the pumpkin one was better. Nine out of ten. Okay, now we're gonna do raspberry. I think this was the little cat. Oh, I think it leaked out mostly. Oh man. Mm, but you still get that residual raspberry flavor though. Yeah. It's nice. It's an eight out of ten. Mm, no, maybe seven. Maybe yeah. seven. It ain't all that. Which one is this? Oh, I think this one was the, wait, no, this one was the strawberry filling. Tell a lie, the cat was the strawberry filling. It was just all right. The bat was the raspberry filling. Yeah. And this basically leaked out all the way too. Yeah, yeah that's how it is. Mm, six out of 10. Yeah. It's not that, it's not all that. And now this is the pineapple one. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna take a small bite and then you'll take a small bite because mom wanted, ooh, it curdled. This one curdled because there's acid in the pineapple juice. That is just, that's just how pineapple do be. Yeah. It's not bad though. I'll give that an eight out of 10. It's a nice flavor. I think I'll also give it a six out of 10. Mm, for the pumpkin one, one today. Yeah. This one, the show, pumpkin. So, pumpkin was the best of them. Mm -hmm. Not even gonna lie. Um, did you have any ending remarks, Philip? That was fun. It was very fun. With all that being said, this is the end of today's video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I will list all the ingredients again down below, and I'll see if I can't leave detailed steps. Hopefully I can. If not, watch the video. With all that being said, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.